Dear children, I hope you are all doing well. I am Miss Lisa, and today we are going to learn English for class sixth, and this is going to be your day one. Before moving to the chapter, I would like you to understand what we will be doing in this video. Firstly, I'll explain the chapter. After the explanation of the chapter, the lesson will be summarized. and finally few questions will be given to you and i'll also give you some time to think about the answer and finally we will discuss the answers the lesson that we are going to learn today is the tunnel written by shama fateli and this is the first chapter in your english literature i'm sure that all of you must have been on a train before So before starting the lesson I want you to think about three words that come to your mind when you think of a train journey I'll give you a minute to think about it so you have to think about three words that come to your mind when you think of a train journey Let's begin. The chapter is divided into three sections. The main characters of the story are Ankush, Ankush's parents, Hari Singh, and Saida Aunty. The setting of the story is in a train. Ankush was a young boy, probably nine or ten years old. He was looking out of the train window. he was not ready to talk to anyone his father and mother they wanted to talk to him but whenever they looked at him he looked away then a toy seller came near the window he had lot of toys father asked ankush do you want to buy a toy but he again looked away even though he refused his father brought him a cricket set then ankush thought to himself Father would only buy something like this on my birthday and he was very surprised that father had got him a cricket set Now you must be wondering why was he sad Now if you look at the picture you can see that even his parents are sad Let's find out why they were so upset A bell clanged somewhere on the platform and everyone suddenly began to hurry Ankur's mother said to Hari Singh who was standing near them Make sure if he wants something you know Ankur he is afraid of tunnels Hari Singh who work for them said Yes ma'am I will take care of him as my own child Then his parents gave him a tight hug and they stepped down on the platform and waved him goodbye ankush wanted to show them that he was angry he was not going to talk to them he wanted to show those emotions but instead of doing that he found himself waving at them bravely and yes that is the reason why ankush was sad he was going to travel all by himself without his parents that was a reason why his he was not talking to his parents he was always looking away because his parents were uh, letting him travel alone and they were not accompanying him children how would you feel if you have to travel alone will you be excited or will you be scared let's see what happened next now the train started to move and after sitting there for some time hari singh said to ankush i'll be back in a few minutes now ankush was alone in the compartment he could not see anyone except a pile of luggage covered with an old black cloth can you see in this picture there's a pile of luggage and it was covered with an old black cloth apart from this he could not see anybody or anyone in the compartment so when hari singh left he was all alone now he missed his parents so much then he remembered what his father had told him 
His father said that if you feel alone or if you feel frightened, just look outside the window and you will forget about your fears. So Ankush wanted to open the window and look outside that. But there was one problem. The window was closed. Now he had an idea. He pushed against it with one shoulder. The window rose a little and then it thundered as it slid down and dropped on his hand. Ankush had hurt his hand. And he started crying because it was really painful. Suddenly it was all dark. Ankur's sobs turned into screams of terror. Yes, you're right, the train had entered into a tunnel. And you remember that Ankush was scared or he was frightened of the tunnels. And there was nobody around him. Then he saw something unusual. Means that he saw something which he had never seen before. He saw the pile of luggage. Remember the pile of luggage with the old black cloth? Yes, the pile of luggage was moving. A hand came out of the black cloth and Ankush saw a face with pan stained lips. The person who was under that black cloth had pan stains or the, pro the person had probably eaten pan and there were stains or marks of pan on uh, that person's lips. And the person was also wearing big gold earrings. When he looked closely, it was a lady who was wearing a salwar kameez and she was also carrying a very long dupatta around her head. She asked Ankush, why were you so frightened? It was only a tunnel. Then she picked him up and made him sit on her lap. Ankush felt better. You know, his mother would also make him sit on her lap when he used to be scared of the tunnel. When he used to go uh, in the train journey before, whenever the tunnel used to come, he would just go and sit on his mother's lap and he would really feel safe there. So in the same way, when the lady made him sit on her lap, Ankush felt safe. He was, he was now not frightened of the tunnels. But Ankush did not reply anything to the lady. So the lady asked him again, Are you not going to talk anything? Or are you going to be quiet till you reach Calcutta? This made Ankush giggle. Okay, this made Ankush giggle. He was smiling. And this also helps us to understand that he was going to Calcutta. He was going to a city called Calcutta. After some time, the lady took out a box and asked Ankush, Do you want to eat anything? The snacks looked really delicious. Ankush nodded his head. Nodded, Ankush nodded his head means that he said a yes. He did not speak, but nodded means that he said, Yes, I want to eat the snacks. Maybe he was hungry and it was looking really delicious. The lady took out a towel and wiped Ankush's face and hands before giving him the food. Then she spread a napkin on his lap and gave him the snacks to eat. Ankush ate the snacks or Ankush ate the food which was given by the lady. It was really tasty. Now Ankush looked at her and said, You know, earlier I thought you were a luggage. The lady began to laugh and gave him a pretend slap. Children, do you know what is a pretend slap? Did she actually slap Ankush? No, she did not actually slap Ankush, but she pretended. She waved her hand in the air and pretended as if she was slapping Ankush. And she said, I am not a luggage. My name is Saida and you can call me Saida auntie. Ankush asked her, then what about the black cover? You were having a black cover, right? Which I thought was the cover of the luggage. What about that? So this lady or this auntie replied that the black cloth is the cloth which I used to cover myself. And it's called a burqa. Have you ever seen women wearing a burqa? 
As they were talking, Hari Singh entered the compartment and apologized to Ankush. He said sorry to Ankush. He said, Baba, I am sorry. Were you frightened when the train went through the tunnel? I am so sorry that I had to leave you alone and I had to go out of the compartment. Were you scared when the train went through the tunnel? Ankush replied, Of course not. I was sitting here all by myself. I was not frightened. I was not afraid when the train went through the tunnel. Both Saidanti and Ankush, they look at each other and they smile. And Hari Singh, he is left puzzled. He is totally confused because Ankush's mother had asked him to take care of Ankush, right? Because he was afraid of the tunnels. So he was very puzzled. He was very confused that how come that Ankush was not at all scared of the tunnels. That is the reason why Hari Singh was puzzled. Now let's recall what we have done so far. Ankush, a young boy, had to travel alone by the train. He was upset with his parents uh, because they were not traveling with him. So uh, he, he had to travel all alone uh, in the train. His parents were not accompanying him. That is the reason why he was upset with them. And also he was very afraid of the tunnels. So he did not know what he would be doing when the train would go through the tunnel. Now Hari Singh, who worked at their house, uh, he was accompanying Ankush, but after sitting in the compartment for some time, he got up and he went out of the compartment to do some work. Then the train entered the tunnel. Now Ankush was very frightened because he was afraid of the tunnel, right? So uh, then something unusual happened, something which he had never seen before. That thing happened when he looked at the opposite seat the luggage, remember the luggage was kept on the opposite seat with the black old covering. That luggage started to move. Now Ankush, he was all the more scared. He was all the more frightened. But when he looked closely, it was a lady who was having pan stained lips. She had eaten pan and stains or the marks of the pan were all over her lips. And she was wearing big gold earrings. And she was wearing a long dupatta around her head and she had a black covering which was called a burka. Now the lady asked uh, Ankush to sit on her lap because she understood that Ankush was afraid of the tunnel. So she made him comfortable and after some time she offered Ankush some food. He ate that food. It was very delicious. It was very tasty and Ankush, he felt really better. Then uh, the lady, she revealed that her name is Saida and Ankush could call her Saida auntie. And they both had a laugh when uh, uh, auntie realized that Ankush had thought that she was a luggage. While they were talking, Hari Singh, he came back to the compartment and he uh, said sorry to Ankush because he had left Ankush alone. But he was amused to see that Ankush was not afraid of the tunnel. He said that I, was, I wasn't afraid of the tunnel. I wasn't afraid when the train went through the tunnel. So Hari Singh, he was very amused. He was very puzzled when he got to know that Ankush was not at all scared of the tunnel. Let's discuss the question answers. The first question is, why do you think Ankush refused to talk to his parents? I am going to give you some time to think about the answer, then we will discuss it. Let's see whether you could answer this question correctly or not. Ankush refused to talk to his parents because they were letting him travel alone in the train. He was really afraid or he was frightened of the tunnels and his parents were not accompanying him and that is the reason why Ankush refused to talk to his parents. 
Next question. What did Ankush do to forget his fears? Ankush remembered what his father had told him. His father told him, whenever you feel alone or if you feel frightened, you just look outside the window. When you see all the beautiful views, you would be able to forget about your fears. So he decides to open the window and look out of the window to forget his fears. How did Saida auntie look and how was she dressed? Saida auntie was dressed in a salwar kameez. She also carried a dupatta around her head. She had pan stained lips and big gold earrings. She also wore a black covering which was known as a burqa. The next question is, what did Saida auntie do before she gave Ankush food? So before giving Ankush food, Saida auntie took out a towel and wiped Ankush's face and hands. Then she spread a napkin on his lap and gave him some snacks or she gave him some food. Let's see whether you can answer these questions or not. Ankush and his family were in a dash. That's right, they were in a train. Ankush's mother was dash about him. Ankush's mother was worried about him. And why was she worried? Because they were letting Ankush travel alone to Calcutta. They were not accompanying him. And that is the reason why she was worried about Ankush. Because he was afraid of the tunnel. Ankush tried to dash the window. He tried to push open the window. He remembered what his father had told him. His father said that if you feel uh, alone or if you feel frightened, you just look outside the window. So he decided to open the window to forget about his fears. But what happened when he opened the window? It slid down and he got hurt. Ankush saw the dash moving. He saw something unusual, right? What was that? Yes, he saw the luggage moving. The, lug the pile of luggage with the old black cloth over it. When the train entered the tunnel, Ankush saw the luggage moving. Saida auntie gave Ankush dash, dash to eat. Yes, she gave him some food or snacks to eat. Was the food delicious? Yes, it was really tasty. It was really delicious and Ankush ate it. Dash looked puzzled. Who was, who was confused? Who looked puzzled at the end of the story? Yes, Hari Singh looked puzzled or Hari Singh looked confused because he thought that Ankush would be really frightened or he would be really scared of the tunnel and he was not around him when the train went through the tunnel, right? He was supposed to be there to take care of him, but he was not there. So when he came back, Ankush was smiling and he, and he told him that he was not frightened of the tunnel. And that is the reason why Hari Singh looked puzzled. Very good. Now, I want to leave you, leave a question for you to think. Do you think Hari Singh took good care of Ankush? Why or why not? 
Thank you for watching the video. See you tomorrow at the same time.